Hey, Wellness Warrior, it's Dr. Zorowski, and the fact is, is that inflammation is the bane of modern society. Most of the health problems that you have going on in your body at this moment are related to an inflammatory response that's unhealthy. So what we have to do is we have to do the very things that will shut down this inflammatory response in the body, and that all starts with anti-inflammatory foods. There's two types of inflammation that we have to concern ourselves with in our body. There's going to be acute inflammation and chronic inflammation. Let me briefly explain both of what those are. Some of the top symptoms then is what we're going to talk about that you can look for to determine if you have inflammation in your body. And I'll talk to you as to some of the clinical aspects of these so you can truly understand if you have them or not. And then we're going to look at the top seven foods that you should be consuming today. Okay, so let's go ahead and first talk about what acute inflammation is. Now, acute inflammation is healthy. That's inflammation whereas you maybe hurt a joint and you get some inflammation in that joint, it's a healing process. You cut your arm, there's inflammation around that wound, it's a healing process, it's completely fine. But where inflammation becomes unhealthy, and this is the way most people are experiencing it today, is when it becomes chronic. Chronic inflammation starts to deteriorate the body. Chronic inflammation is related to autoimmune responses. It's something that we don't want going on in our body because chronic inflammation is the beginning stage of most of the serious chronic diseases that most people face today. You're thinking heart disease, you're thinking cancer, you're thinking some pretty awful things. So we have to make sure we're getting these under control. So. That chronic inflammation, we wanna pay attention to that and that's what we're talking about today. Now let's talk about some of the symptoms that could be a prime indication to let you know that you have inflammation going on in your body today. So the first one here is going to be pain. So if you have pain, stiffness, and a lot of tension in your body, then a lot of times that means you have inflammation. It's typically one of the number one things. You roll out of bed and you're just as stiff as can be. Your joints are stiff all the time. You ache all the time. That is a prime indicator of an inflammatory problem in your body. Or maybe you're even getting hurt. Let's say you're exercising and you're not recovering well, or maybe you kind of get a little tweak in the joint, but it never heals, right? This is an inflammatory issue in the body. Now let's talk about some of the different conditions that are related related to inflammatory problems in the body. And then we're gonna to get to the foods that you need to start eating in order to uh, resolve some of these issues. Next is gonna be brain, okay? So if you have a brain condition, you have depression, you have anxiety, you have poor memory, you have brain fog, these in most cases are related to an inflammatory response in the body that is affecting the brain, okay? So if you find yourself in a position where your brain's just not working well, we wanna think about that. Another top place is if you have a gut condition, okay? So let's say that you're just not digesting things well, you have gut pain, you have IBS symptoms, which is just bouts of constipation and diarrhea. This is a good chance that you have an inflammatory problem going on that's affecting your gut and of course other areas of your body. And then if you have a metabolic disorder, okay? So let's say that you're somebody who has insulin resistance, you have blood sugar problems, you have high blood pressure, you have uh, you know, any of these issues, cholesterol issues, also a good sign that you're suffering from an inflammatory problem. So then of course, what do we do about it? Let's talk about some of the top seven foods. But here's the thing is I want you to identify if you have this, okay? Because this is important to take control of. I can tell you beyond a shadow of a doubt, if you don't take control of this, they can easily, easily spiral out of control and really, really start to cause some serious issues. As I mentioned, if you look at cancer, that starts with a chronic inflammatory response in the body years and years in advance, okay? You didn't just show up to the doctor one day and all of a sudden like magic cancer popped up in your body. It's been accumulating for years. You just didn't know it, right? Your doctor never told you about this inflammatory issue. So we want to make sure that we're taking care of that. Now let's take a look at the top seven anti-inflammatory foods because this is what you truly need to start doing today in order to transform your health and lower inflammation. So the first food on our list is going to be fatty fish. Fatty fish is so important. It's loaded with omega-3s. It has lots of good DHA in it and this drives down inflammation. So we want to make sure that we're getting this good healthy source of protein. And let's say that you're not a fish person. One of the things that you can do is you can look to something like omega-3s in order to help drive down inflammation. Next on our list is going to be berries, okay? Now berries are interesting. They're a fruit that's very micronutrient dense, 
So they have so many good nutritional qualities about them, but they're low glycemic. Now, let's face it, we all love mangoes and bananas and all those really high sugar fruits. They're delicious. I'm not arguing that. But the fact is, is if we have an inflammatory issue and we have a lot of these symptoms going on in our body, what we want to do is stay away from some of those big high glycemic fruits so that we can actually fix our health. And here's something that's so important to actually make sure that we're acknowledging. How did we end up in this place? First of all, how we ended up here is through poor lifestyle, eating a lot of poor quality foods. It's so important to make sure that you're cleaning up your diet. So sure, we add in, you know, so far mentioned the fatty fish and the berries, but we also make sure that we're taking out all the bad stuff, the sugar, the excess carbs, the processed foods, all those things that actually cause autoimmune responses and drive inflammation in the body. Now let's look at broccoli. Bro broccoli is another uh, vegetable and food that you should consume because it's loaded with good properties that drive down inflammation. And then ginger, okay? Ginger is awesome. It's one of the best things that you can consume in order to help fight inflammation combined with this one right here, and that's turmeric, okay? Now, here's the thing is that if you're using ginger, it's really great to put it in maybe like a smoothie, maybe put a little bit of ginger juice in with some apple cider vinegar, that's also great. But taking it in supplement form is valuable as well. And that is also pretty much the same with turmeric. So I hear people all the time say, yeah, I'm getting all the benefits from turmeric by putting it in my food. And the reality is I go, no, you're not, because you would have to eat bowls of it to get a lot of benefit. Because we, the problem with turmeric is that it's not highly absorbable. So we want to make sure that we're taking it in a very bioactive way so that our body can actually um, utilize it properly versus it just kind of passing through our system. So what I'll do is I'll put a link in the description below to a supplement because there's one in particular that I find works very, very well. It has like ginger, turmeric, and, and uh, boswellia and a whole bunch of really good uh, nutrients in it specifically targeted at inflammation. I, people swear by it. So I'll put that in the description below. Um, because it works well, but you also can put these foods into your diet. And this is important to realize when we look at dealing with inflammatory issues, I mean, I deal with them clinically all the time. It's not just about the food, right? The foods are awesome. We got to do them. It's, it's the most important tool that you have in your toolbox in order to turn this problem around. However, we also kind of want to just start stacking some different layers of support on, you know, so we want to maybe include some intermittent fasting and give our body that time to heal and recover. We want to add in some uh, good lifestyle practices. We can do things like change our diet, right? We do these things and, and, and we use supplementation. We keep stacking these good, healthy, uh, sustainable habits and all of a sudden you end up in a place that's so much healthier months and months down the road. All right, next on our list is going to be dark chocolate. Okay, dark chocolate is something that most people love. It's so important to make sure that you're not getting sweetened dark chocolate. We want to get, you know, raw cacao. We want to make sure that it's at least 80% or more uh, cocoa. So we want to make sure that we're getting the good stuff and not the junk. So no sugar, no Hershey's bar, but good dark chocolate. Avocado and healthy fats like olive oil are also so important to make sure that we're consuming because these fats really help drive down inflammation in our body. Some examples of some of my you know, healthy fats that I love to consume every day are going to be things such as macadamia nuts, eating things like coconut, which is gonna be really good in healthy fats. As I mentioned, using like olive oil as a dressing or maybe even avocado oil. So these are some really good healthy fats that we can include into our diet. And lastly, as I mentioned, mentioned before, I always like to give a little bit of clinical knowledge of these types of issues because I work with them so often. If we don't get these under control, they lead to serious problems that can spiral out of control. Now, when we look around at people who are really suffering today, we, they, there's people who have, you know, all these different arthritis, it's deteriorating their joints, it's giving them skin rashes, their gut health is a mess, there's so many problems that they're facing. So the reality is, if we truly want to get this under control, we use food, we use supplements, we use lifestyle, we clean up our diet, we make sure we're doing all the things so that you can transform your health using not only anti-inflammatory foods, but every tool that you have at your disposal so that you can take control of your health and do it naturally. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I think you'll really like this one right over here.